we're out here tonight testing a number of different muzzle devices, comparing them how they stack up to the to the standard A2 birdcage. We've got two devices from titanium gun parts, a combination muzzle brake flash hider from DAE, a wicked looking uh, muzzle brake from HFD2, which I'm hoping will do reasonably well with hiding a flash. Three muzzle brakes from Spear Tactical. A Seekins, uh, a Seekins flash hider, not really cleverly named. This is a flash hider by Rausch. I think it's called their Punisher or something. And this is a a flash forwarder that uh, we had sent to us. This is a a fun device. I'm not sure how well it's going to do at hiding flash, but it it certainly does a great job at pushing the sound forward. Uh, we're going to do five rounds. We've got perfected ammunition. Five rounds. We're going to videotape it, photograph it, and see if we can get some light measurements as well. Let's see how this goes.
has been a lot of fun. Yeah. The sound forwarder was a lot more better than I thought it would be. The um, the flash that it had actually pushed it pushed all the flash forward. So I, I imagine there was a lot more flash than most of them, but you didn't really see it from, from where you stood. Um, the two titanium parts sent off a lot of sparks, but I imagine any of them would. Uh, these are fairly new, so you're going to get a lot of sparks with them. Once those sparks die down, you'll have a, a better picture of what it looks like. The DAE was a, a good performer from the standpoint of both braking and um, muzzle, or flash reduction. I don't know what it showed on the camera, but from where I stood, the uh, HFD2 looks like a medieval castle. Uh, this thing was the clear winner in my book. It pushed all the, the sound and vibration down and away from the shooter, and I didn't see a whole lot of flash from it. I don't know what it looked like from the side, but from my perspective, this looked pretty dang good. Um, any of these three would actually do a decent job if you're looking for something that'll get you... Well, any of these four actually will do a decent job of getting you, or letting you stay on target and keeping you from getting, or from losing your night vision. Um, all of them are good performers, but I would say those four are probably the best from, from where I was shooting. That's all we got. Until next time.